area between two curves. And the first thing we're going to do is determine the area between y equals f of x and y equals g of x on a closed interval going from a to b. This is the function we use. a equals the integral going from a to b of f of x minus g of x, which can be translated into upper function minus lower function. a equals the integral from 0 to 1 of x, which is the upper function, minus x squared, which is the lower function, dx. The next step will be taking the entire derivative. The entire derivative of x is x squared over 2 subtracted by the entire derivative of x squared, which is x to the third over 3, evaluating from 0 to 1. When evaluating entire derivatives, you should check the upper limit minus the lower limit. So 1 squared over 2 subtracted by 1 third over 3, all subtracted by 0 squared over 2 minus 0 to the third over 3, will equal 1 half minus 1 third minus 0. So we have fractions, and with subtracting fractions, we have to have a common denominator. So multiply one half by three and one third by two, we get three six minus two six, which equals one six. Hey guys, Ennis here, to bring you example 2. In example 2, we have the square root of x as our f of x, or upper function, and x cubed as our g of x, or lower function, and 0 to 1 as our interval. And as we plug in the function to integrate it, you want to plug in the square root of x for f of x minus x cubed or g of x, all multiplied by dx to find the integral. As we plug in the functions, you want to make sure that you give the square root of x into an easier form to integrate, which is x to the 1 half. So now you should have the definite integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 1 half power minus x to the third power all multiplied by dx. Next, you want to integrate the integral. The antiderivative of x to the 1 half is 2 thirds x to the 3 half power. And the antiderivative of x cubed is x to the 4th divided by 4. Now that you have integrated, you want to plug in your limits and solve. You plug in 1 to get 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 half power minus 1 to the 4th over 4. All subtracted by 2 thirds to times 0 to the 3 half power minus 0 to the 4th over 4. And remember, this is what happens when you plug in the limits as the integral goes from 0 to 1. Now, simplify and you should get 2 thirds minus 1 fourth all minus 0. Then you want to have a least common denominator to subtract. To get a least common denominator of 12, you will multiply the numerator and denominator of 2 thirds by 4 and multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 fourth by 3. Finally, you subtract 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths to get a final answer of 5 twelfths units squared, which will be the area between the curves 
of the square root of x minus x cubed.